Hi, this is Venetia. Welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. I have a spoken word from the Father. Um, it was God the Father's voice that I heard on April the 23rd of 2024 at 12.06 a.m. And the title of this spoken word, which was so befitting for this week, is when faced with opposition to my truth. Um, God's channel, Skipping with Jesus, has um, been getting quite a few views this week. And along with that, of course, um, comes those that disagree, um, comes um, man's opinion, comes also the spirit of religion. And I want to say to you that um, in all love and um, that um, I, we don't have time for that, okay? So if this is not a word that is for you because it's not for everyone, every word that is delivered is not for everyone. If it's not for you, I just ask you not to watch it. And if it is, then, then go and um, ask the Holy Spirit to give you a spirit of discernment and then apply it to the word. Those are the two testing grounds. The, um, the, the word, that the word backs the spoken word up and that um, the spirit, of the Holy Spirit gives you a spirit of discernment. I am human. I do make mistakes. I can um, I I can write down something wrong, okay. Um, but I would ask that you not um, share your grievances on the comments because I will delete it. I will give you an example. There was a precious soul just two days ago that was reaching out for um, she wanted she had backslidden and she wanted to come back to God and there was um, a spirit of religion that felt like they needed to um, voice their opinion and um, thank the Lord I pray that I caught it in time but I know that um, there um, that it didn't wound this precious soul and which it sounded like the wound was a church wound to start with that had driven her away. And I just ask that you be very careful and out of love, um, the Savior's love, you speak encouragement um, to those that are reaching out to help, for help. Now, um, saying all that, um, when faced with opposition to my truth, this is a word from the Father. Um, Heavenly Father, I, I am so privileged and honored that you would share this word with me to scribe for you. It humbles me, Lord, to release it for you. And I pray that I, I do you well in delivering it how you spoke it to me. And Holy Spirit, I pray that you speak through me and um, take over my voice, let it be none of me and all of you, and that we bring the glory to Jesus in whom we have the privilege of serving. I love you, my Lord, and my master and my friend. Holy Spirit, here am I, none of me, all of you, in your precious name, Jesus. So, this time stamp was relevant um, in that the scripture that what I was led to was Psalms 1, 120 and 1 through 7, which the time stamp was 1206. And this, um, this um, written word was in Psalms 120, 1 through 7 in the Passion Translation. And it says, I was desperate for you to help me in my struggles, and you did. So come and deliver me now from this treacherous and false accusation. O oh, lying deceivers, do you know what is your fate? 
you will be pierced through with condemnation and consumed with burning coals of fire. Why am I doomed to live as an alien scattered among these cruel savages? Am I destined to dwell in the dark and tents of desert nomads? Far too long I had to live among those who hate peace. I speak words of peace while they speak words of war, but they refuse to listen. This is God the Father's spoken word to his faithful witnesses. When faced with opposition to my truth, stand on the firm foundation you have established in me. Holy Spirit will speak through you my truth to those opposing you. Do not be afraid of the arrow by day, nor the tarot at night, for I, the Lord your God, will protect you, putting my standard of righteousness up against all who oppose you. You have surrendered yourself fully to me. You have been obedient to my purpose and plan for your destiny at such a time as now in my eternity. Although you may stumble and fall, I will be there to pick you up, setting you on a firm foundation of my son, Christ Jesus. Keep my commandment, loving the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your spirit, loving others as you love yourself. Keep pressing into me as Holy Spirit brings revelation of your identity in me revealing to you what I have called you to do in bringing my kingdom into the earth. You are a royal priesthood belonging to a holy nation in me. You are my sons and daughters, my very own possession. As a result, you can show others my goodness, for I have called you out of darkness into my marvelous light, there was a time you had no identity. Now you belong to me. Also, there was a time you had no mercy. My dear child, let me warn you. You are only a temporary resident, a foreigner. Keep away from worldly desires that wage war against your soul. Be careful to live right among your unbelieving neighbors then even if those oppose you, accusing you of doing wrong, they will see your honorable behavior and they will give honor to me when I judge the world. It is my will that your honorable lives should silence those ignorant people who made foolish accusations against you. For you are free. So don't use your freedom as an excuse to do evil against those that oppose you. Instead, respect everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear me and respect others, for I have called you to do good, even if it means your suffering, just as my son suffered for you. He is your example. You must follow in his steps. He never sinned, nor did he ever deceive anyone. He did not retaliate when he was insulted, nor did he threaten revenge when he suffered. He left his case in my hands. I, who also judged fairly, yet he personally carried your sins in his body on the cross so that you can be dead to sin and live for what is right. By the wounds he suffered, you are healed. There are times, there was a time you were like a wandering sheep, wandering away from me, but now you have returned to your shepherd, the guardian of your soul, says God. And then in Isaiah 59, 16 through 21 in the Passion Translation, and then he was astonished to see that there was no campaign, not even one, who would rescue the oppressed. So then his own mighty power rescued him and his own righteousness supported him. He put on righteousness 
as his body armor, salvation for his helmet, a garment of warring vengeance was his uniform and passion, his cape. He will repay wrath to the enemies and retribution to his foe according to what they have done. Reckoning is coming to the islands for what is due them. From the west to the lands of the rising sun, the glory of the name of Yahweh will be held in highest reverence, for he will break in as a flooding, rushing river driving on by the breath of driven on by the breath of Yahweh. He will come to Zion as a kinsman redeemer to those of Jacob's tribes who repent of their rebellion, says Yahweh. And this is my covenant promise with them, says Lord Yahweh. From now on, my Holy Spirit will rest on them and not depart from them. And my prophetic words will fill their mouths and will not depart from them, nor from their children, nor from their descendants. From now on and forever, says Lord Yahweh. And then in Matthew 5, 10 through 12 in the New Living Translation, God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. God blesses you who God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. And then lastly, 1 Peter 3, 13 through 17 in the Passion Translation. Why would anyone harm you if you're passionate and devoted to pleasing God? But even if you have to suffer for doing what is right, you ha will have a joyful experience of the blessing of God. And don't be intimidated or terrified by those who would terrify you. Be, get, but give reverent honor to your hearts, in your hearts to the anointed one and treat him as the holy master of your lives. How befitting this spoken and written word for this week. I pray that the Father finds um, us faithful and walking down those uncharted pathways with his son, no matter what the suffering may be, no matter if people mock us and reject us, because our Father is the one who um, will take revenge. We just have to keep doing the work of his kingdom and bringing his kingdom into the earth. And of course, because um, they rejected Jesus, they'll reject us, but do not get offended. Pray to the Father that you, that you become unoffensible. We all need to become unoffensible during this time as we walk forward with our Savior. I love you all, and until next time, may God bless you and keep you, and may his face shine upon you as you walk and do the will of the Father. I love you all. Bye-bye.